Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and what I would like to do today is explain to you how to stop the synchronization of a SharePoint uh, document library. Now, you might be wondering why do we need to stop the sync uh, of a SharePoint document library, so I would like to present you first uh, with a little bit of a problem, and then I'll explain to you how uh, to mitigate and how to fix that problem by stopping the sync operation. So here's a situation for you. I'm sure your employees and you are already taking advantage of this wonderful feature, but the feature I'm talking about is the sync feature. So the idea here is that, of course, if you have a SharePoint document library and you want uh, the you know files and folders to be avail available on your C drive, maybe for offline access, or you just prefer to walk out of your C drive, you have we have this wonderful feature built in called sync, OneDrive sync. And what it allows you to do, it allows you to pretty much copy the information between <clears throat> between the SharePoint document library and your C drive, right? So here is me synchronizing my uh, library for the first time. So let me first get the files to my uh, desktop. And as you, can, as you can see, here it is on my C drive. As you can see here, this uh, all the different uh, sites and libraries I already synchronized, and here's the one we just uh, we just did. Let me show it to you again. Here, here is my accounting site, uh, document library. Here it is. So if I go inside of it, uh, all of a sudden I have all the files and folders on my C drive, and of course the green checkbox indicates whether the you know the files and folders have been synchronized. Now. Um, uh, there is an option within OneDrive uh, sync uh, client uh, to, to um, you know, sync only files on demand, uh, which means it doesn't really synchronize the, the files and folders to your, uh, to your C drive. It just kind of, um, you know, synchronizes the outline, if you will, the names, and it doesn't uh, really synchronize the files and folders, uh, the physical files and folders until you click on them. Uh, but that's not useful if I, you know, maybe travel a lot, uh, fly on airplanes, no Wi-Fi, right, right? I really want the files and folders on my machine, so I'm actually going for the uh, full-blown sync um, and bringing the files and folders to my machine. And which is nice, right? I can now uh, walk remotely and, you know, not necessarily remotely, but uh, but I can uh, I can walk uh, without offline access, uh, and then when I'm near Wi-Fi, the changes are magically you know synchronized back to SharePoint. Nice and convenient. But a two-way sync is a two-way sync, and uh, what happens is, and when users are not aware of how it works, is that any change you make to to, to a file uh, or folder in one place immediately takes place in another. All right. So what that means is that uh, if I if I make a change or even delete a file or folder in uh, in one location, it immediately you know makes the ch the corresponding change in another. So if I, for example, decide to delete maybe you know what I don't have enough space on my C drive, and uh, I need to maybe delete some you know folders. Let let me delete this client uh, documents folder for example. Right, I press the delete button on my. Uh, on my C drive, if you noticed, it's gone for, immediately gone from my C drive, right? Guess what will happen over here? Uh, sometimes it takes a few seconds, sometimes you need to reload the screen, but you know, here we go, look at this. Even before I had a chance to refresh the page, you know, refresh the site, right? You know, essentially it's gone. It's gone now, right? So what happens is, obviously it's not gone completely just yet, it goes to the recycle bin, we can easily restore it, all right? Uh, but you probably don't want to, to go there, right, <laughs> every single time. Uh, now, um, and this is what happens, I mean, and sometimes it happens, right, you know, sometimes you want to do it on purpose, but many times what I observe is that users don't realize that uh, it's really a two-way sync, and they think maybe they're just cleaning up space on their C drive, but no, no, in real life they actually uh, wiping out their uh, department or project uh, site document library. So, uh, how do we mitigate this issue? How do we address this? Well, what you need to do is you need to stop uh, OneDrive Sync. And this is something every user has to do manually on their machine. They have to do it themselves because they synchronize it, they need to fix it. So, if I want to stop the synchronization, you know, if I want to really delete this from my machine, I don't want these files uh, or folders on my machine anymore, uh, what you need to do, you need to stop the synchronization. Here's how to do it. Uh, on your 
on your computer, you go to this uh, blue cloud um, icon, which is OneDrive Sync, right? And uh, you click on more settings. And this will give you a list of all the, you know, the, the sites and, and document libraries that you are synchronizing. And as you can see, I'm synchronizing my, you know, my own OneDrive. And then uh, these are all the different sites and libraries I'm synchronizing. So all you need to do here, you know, find the site and library that you're synchronizing. Here we go. Accounting documents. I, you need to click Stop Sync. And it just gives you a warning message. Stop Sync. You just say OK. And look what happened. Look what happened. The green you know, checkbox is gone, meaning there is, there is no more synchronization between the two. And I can now even, I can first of all start deleting all of these files uh, uh, from my you know, C drive. And no worries, nothing will happen in SharePoint because I stopped the sync. Uh, I can even you know, delete the whole, the whole um, you know, site and library from my, you see it's gone. You see, it's gone from my C drive now, but rest assured, nothing will happen over here because I stopped the sync. All right. So it's very, very important. Um, it's not really trivial, but very, very important that uh, you know how to uh, sync and you know how to stop the sync. It's very important that your employees know this as well. Um, you know, trust me, I've <laughs> faced a number of situations where you know I've seen um, you know uh, some of the folks you know emailing me and telling me hey we we had all the files and folders magically disappear from our SharePoint and uh, you know nothing happens <laughs> you know just uh, out of the blue right it, usually the culprit is that somebody synchronized the uh, the the particular site a particular document library uh, to be precise and then you know probably just you know decided to delete some files on their machine. All right, and that's usually what happens. And as I said, you know, not to worry if you delete stuff, uh, it goes to the recycle bin. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous uh, videos, um, the files and folders stay there for 93 days. So you have uh, you have a way of restoring them with that period of time. All right, so that's all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, again, thank you for your, uh, for your attention uh, and uh, looking forward to seeing you uh, on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.